To make our soap, we're going to need soap base. It needs to be white. This is eight ounces. It typically comes in a two pound block, but this is just the eight ounces. We're also gonna use a cutting board and a knife to cut that up smaller. We're gonna melt the soap base in a Pyrex cup. We're gonna do two batches, two colors. So you'll need two different Pyrex cups. We're gonna use three colors. It needs to be soap colorant, which is skin safe. This is rose, orange, and yellow. For scent, we've chosen orange bergamot, which is lovely, it's kind of citrusy. We've got chopsticks for stirring. This is rubbing alcohol in a spritzer bottle. That's a special trick we'll show you. And finally, you'll need your soap mold. We've chosen these soaps. They're not too big, which is nice for guest soaps, and they look like roses and daisies. The first thing you need to do is cut your soap into one ounce cubes. It was already scored, so we cut it up and put uh, four in each of the measuring cups. We're gonna do two batches, and we're just going to heat this up in the microwave for about a minute, but start with 30 seconds, stir it with a chopstick, give it 15 seconds more until it's all melted. Then we'll be ready to add the color. We've melted our soap, the two different Pyrexes of soap, and now we're ready to make two different colors. One's gonna be kind of orange and the other's gonna be kind of red. For the orange one, we're going to do eight drops of this orange soap colorant. You have to give it a good squeeze, this one. It'll depend on what brand you buy. And this is, you can kind of experiment with how much color you use and what you like. This is the test we did. Were you counting? I think that was eight. <laughs> And then we're gonna add a little extra yellow to the orange. So we're gonna do four of this one. One, two, three, four. You can see I'm really squeezing that. Then for the reddish color, we're gonna start with eight of the red. And we'll do four of the orange in that one. And that one goes one, two, three, four. And then when we tested this before, the reddish color looked a little better with a touch of yellow in it. So we're gonna do two of the yellow in that one. One, two. And then we also want some scent in this. And this is our orange bergamot. And we're gonna do about five drops in each one. And that too, you can experiment with how much you want, how much scent you want. And then I'm just gonna give those a good stir. If they start to set up after you stir, you can always microwave the colored and scented soap base more and get it liquid again. That color looks great. That's our red. And then this is our orangey yellow. It's kind of, it'll be kind of a peachy color. Oh, that looks great. And the smell is fantastic. It's like a floral citrus smell. So we're just gonna heat this up for about 30 seconds for each one of these so they're warm again, and then we'll be ready to pour. We reheated the soap, this is the rose and the orange, about 30 seconds for each one, and now we're ready to pour into our mold. The trick here is we're gonna pour both colors at the same time, and we're going to swirl them. We're gonna do one mold at a time. We're gonna pour slowly. You can't just pour one color and then go get the other color, because the first color you pour will fill in most of the spot that's gonna show, which is on the front or top side of the mold. So now that one's poured in, and I'm gonna give it a kind of a vigorous swirl. I don't wanna blend it completely, but the part that's gonna be stuck to the mold, the top part, we want that to show up as not just being two-sided, not just a yin-yang, although some may come out that way. I'm pouring both colors at the same time up to the top. I'll give that one a little bit more. And then again, I'm gonna swirl that. I'm kind of reaching the bottom as I swirl. That one's nice and swirled. I'll do this one. 
this is a fun one to do with different colors. We've done it with blue and white. It came out really pretty. That was a seashell mold that we did. And we've done it with uh, orange and white, like a creamsicle. Really cute. And you can try it while you're uh, working with the two colors. You can see what happens if I pour more of one color or more of another. And they're different every time. Some of them will be more half and half and some will be more swirly. And that's why it's fun too to make them in batches. So we're just about done with our soap. I don't know if we'll make it to the sixth mold, but we'll certainly be able to finish the fifth one here. Fill that one up to the top. Give that a little bit more of the rose. I have a touch more in here. So we could have melted probably an ounce or two more to fill that last one up, but five rows and daisy soaps is fine. So we're seeing some bubbles form on top of these. That comes from microwaving and stirring. And the trick to fixing that is to spray with the alcohol. So we're just gonna spray. And that gets rid of all those bubbles. That works great, it's like magic. It doesn't do anything to hurt the soap, it just evaporates. And now these are ready to cure or actually just cool for 45 minutes and then we will pull them out of the mold. So we let our soaps uh, cool for 45 minutes and now we're going to turn them out and some of them are going to pop right out and some of them you have to kind of hold on to the plastic and push on the back and if they're not popping right out you can put it in the fridge or freezer for a couple minutes and they will come out. So they really turned out pretty and you can see they're all so different with the way the reddish pink and the orange blends together. And that's how you swirl melt and pour soap. Mm -hmm.